What's up guys, I'm Mike Ostremski and these are my 10 essential items. I've used the same model from Wilson, the 1799, ever since I started playing college. So it's been 15 years since I've used a different glove other than this. And I've always been very basic and plain, so my gloves are always a combination of black, tan, and if I do an all black glove, I'll do orange laces sometimes. So having the pink on here is actually the first time I've ever done that. You know, obviously I put Quinley's name on there and just wanted it to kind of pop, so I put it in pink. It's, it's definitely special to me. How do you break in a glove properly? The old school way is you just play catch with it until it, it's broken in. When I was a kid, I would always put shaving cream all over it to soften the leather, and then I would put two baseballs in there, tie it up with rope, and put it under my mattress for like three nights, and I'd sleep on it. That way it would kind of create like a crease down here where I'd want it, and create the pocket in the right spot that I would want it. And now we have all sorts of things. You have glove pounders, you can catch off the machine. Uh, we have a hydroculator now for gloves, which is that basically just steam your glove. So they have like a little bit of water at the bottom and then a rack you put your glove on and it just steams the glove. And then when you put your hand in it, it like molds your hand. There's all types of different things for it. This started kind of as a joke too. I would eat a little bag of peanut M&Ms before a game. And this was in 2020 and I started playing well. So I told Craw that if you wanted a double or an RBI, you had to eat peanut M&Ms. And so every day I'd grab one for me, I'd grab one for Craw and I'd throw them to him. And we started playing really well. We did it all through the 2021 season. Our dietitian heard about it and was completely supportive. And every road clubhouse we went to, it there'd be like a giant jar of peanut M&Ms like waiting in my locker for me. <laughs> and it almost got to the point where it was like too much. I'd have like a year worth of peanut M&Ms in my bag and I'm like, I don't know what to do with all these. And so I had to just like start leaving them places and hope that people would eat them. So yeah, they, they haven't been uh, in circulation as much because it's probably not the best thing to constantly eat, but you know, it's just a fun size, so. It is a cribbage peg. So cribbage is a card game that a couple guys in the clubhouse play. Cards are essential. Uh, it's part of our pregame routine, postgame routine. We play cards on the flight, so they're, uh, we're at the field for a long time, so we gotta kill some time somehow. It's been in my family for a while. My, my dad's side of the family played a lot of cribbage. My great-grandfather, grandfather, and dad would always play, and so I'd always watch them, and I always wanted to play, and so I had to learn how to play before I could actually play with them. So it took me a while to, to earn the respect. You had to figure it out by watching or, you know, just kind of find a way to survive for yourself because they would want to beat me. So it wasn't, it wasn't like they were going to show me how they play. These are my blue maca insoles, and I've been using them since 2019. Uh, you know, uh, a friend of mine created these and brought them to me and asked me to, to try them out and test them, see if I liked them. I ended up loving them, so what they are is they are basically like very grippy insoles. So one thing that I noticed was I was losing a lot of ground force in my shoe. So my sock was slipping on my insole and I was just trying to figure out how to, you know, get as much of the force that I'm actually creating to be translated. And so these helped me a lot. Uh, I don't lose an inch in my shoe and uh, you know, there's no spinning off the ball or anything like that. So uh, they're actually really comfortable too. And in my shoes and my cleats, 100% of the time, I will always have these in. Not necessarily these in general, but these are just, I think, the coolest batting gloves that we have. Franklin is, is the company that I enjoy working with and they make the best batting glove out there. You know, they're comfortable, they're durable, and they always look good. So that's why my Franklins are, are the way that I go. I'd say if I go a series without getting a hit, then they're toast, um, or until they rip. You know, if I have a rip in one, then um, I won't use it. Then it either goes to a family member or fans. 
I, I have very sensitive eyes, and so um, playing right field here, the sun is directly in your face on a 6.45 start. It's impossible to see even with the sunglasses on, but I would be completely blind if I didn't have them. So for me, Oakley makes the best lens that I've used for baseball, so I really enjoy these. You know, I'm actually not a guy that changes my lenses. There's guys who change them based on if it's overcast or if it's really sunny, uh, time of day, all this different stuff, whatever they're trying to see. I just stick with the same lens and it's been one of those things that I've enjoyed kind of learning from guys how they have different sunglasses for what their reason is and I'm just going to just wear them so I can see. <laughs> it was my second Father's Day so I am, you know, really starting to watch Quinley grow and kind of explore the world and it's been really cool and very special so it's a good reminder to to always have family in mind and to remember why we're playing this game and you know what motivates us and uh, Quinley is a big big motivation factor for me. I would watch the game with her and she would you know clap and you know point to the TV and say da 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 and I'm like I'm right next to you but yes that is the team that I play on so she recognizes stuff. The campaign that we ran this past Mustache May was super important and special to you know both Paige and I. Um, we worked with Heart and Armor and it was really bringing awareness to number one mental health but also number two mental health for veterans. The number of people that we've met, the stories we've heard just are really inspiring about what people have done and it's called a sacrifice for a reason. They're sacrificing so much of their life and a lot of them have given their life for us to have our freedoms to do whatever we want to do in this country and that's something that you can't take for granted and so to be able to bring awareness to that you know through something as simple as a t-shirt is uh, is really meaningful for us red bull is an essential because you need energy um you know you you have long days at the field and it started as you know i was tired one day needed a, a little energy drink and went for red bull and had a good game and then now it's just every day there's a Red Bull waiting in my locker right before the game. So it's something that has become more of a part of my routine than a necessity. I'm a cold brew in the morning, whether it's hot, cold, it's always cold brew, and then uh, Red Bull right before the game and that's it. I've been using the same bat since 2018, same model, same colors. And I actually had a buddy of mine who was swinging this model and he let me try it and I liked it so he gave me one and it became my favorite bat and I was swinging it in maple first which is a different type of wood than this, this is birch. Then I was just like all right I gotta, I gotta order some of these but I was in the minor leagues, I was broke so I couldn't afford it so I didn't order any. Broke that, was devastated and then at the end of the year he showed me the same model but in birch and it was my last at bat of the year, and I literally hit a ball one-handed, and it went off the left center field wall, and I was like, all right, there's something, something different about this. And so when I got called up for the first time, that's when the team starts paying for your bats, and so I just sent in this model, this everything, all the color the same, and never went back. The only thing that I use is uh, a donut on deck, and so, it's basically just a weight that goes on your bat, makes it feel heavier, helps you get loose. Um, it's more superstitious than anything. It's like I do it every time, and so I feel like I have to keep doing it. I take the same amount of swings on deck every time. I usually just use being on deck for gauging my timing and uh, paying attention to what the pitcher's throwing, what he's, what's working well for him that day, what his tendencies are. So it's not necessarily about gauging my swing because my swing should be there already. These are my 10 essential items. Thanks for watching.